Many of you have asked me about how's my keto rash right now, so I thought I'd do another video on my keto rash. Hello, my Choo Choo family. I'm your fun-loving happy vlogger, Tom Choo Choo. So people are wondering about how's my keto rash now. I mean, it's still the same. And if you have not checked out any of my keto rash video, I'll put the whole playlist in the description box. But with that said, please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my updates. So now that I got that taken care of, some of you, especially my friends, they sent me this video about Dr. Mike react to Jaden Animation's video of her rashes. So I thought I'd do another reaction of Dr. Mike's reacts to the rash. I know there's a lot of tongue twisting moments there because it's Reaction of a reaction of a reaction. But that's what we'll watch today. Maybe I'll find out what really happened with my keto rash as you watched it with me. Choo choo! Jaden Animations is an absolute rock star in YouTube animation world. We're watching one of the medical videos that she put up on her channel. If you want me to watch more, smash that like button, get 100,000 likes, we'll do more of these. Let's get to it. If you like my video, I'm just going to copy my Dr. Mike. If you want me to do more reaction video like this, please hit that like button. And uh, he goes for 100k likes, then I'll just go for 10k likes. How about that? Choo choo! It's Christmas Eve. You're getting ready for bed and everything is prepared for the perfect Christmas morning. Everyone has the standard things on their Christmas list. Puppies, Nintendo Switches. I can relate to this so much, except it's not Christmas. In Russian culture, everything that happens on Christmas happened on New Year's. Instead of a Christmas tree, we had a New Year's tree. Instead of Santa Claus, we had Grandfather Frost. Dyat Maros, which is basically Santa Claus. And the gifts that we got was like markers. People in America get dogs and Nintendo Switches. I got a highlighter and I was What do you do with the highlighters? Like putting highlighting stuff or you just sniff it? <laughs> what do you do with those pens, doctor? But you're suddenly awakened by a strange sensation. Your body is burning, flaring up, itching everywhere. The worst itching you've ever experienced in your life. I think it's either chicken pox, measles if they're not vaccinated. I mean, like a lot of viruses can cause Or keto rash, maybe? Cause rashes. A lot of times we don't even diagnose what exactly caused the rash. We just call it a viral exanthem. I've never had hives until last December. Hives are usually a result of uh, an immune allergic reaction, an overreaction to something. You know, I actually had an experience with hives, uh, an unknown, also known as idiopathic form of hives. After I came back from the beach, like I was in one of the Brooklyn beaches, I went swimming, Ugh, like the water's so gross. And then I came out, I was fine, I put sunblock on. Next day, I woke up, my whole lower body, including my like butt, was covered in hives. And they kept coming back and getting worse and worse, like they would just cycle. So I ended up having to take steroids oral steroids in order to get rid of them. It was really problematic and no doctor, including myself or my doctor or my doctor or my dad, could figure out why it is I had these hives. Well, thinking back about my rash, um, when I first started, it did just grow, just kind of little patches here and there. And um, okay, idiopathic hives. So apparently people get hives all the time out of nowhere and um, maybe my hives wasn't even keto rush to begin with. We'll see. Around the night of the 21st, I was relaxing and playing video games on my couch. Ari was on me because it's snuggly and nice, but about an hour or so in, I started feeling itchy around my neck and shoulders where he'd been sitting. I didn't think much of it, but when I was getting ready for bed, I realized the area that was itchy was actually kind of red. That's actually a reasonable thought process there. The thing is with animals, they sometimes carry specific bacteria. Parakeets uh, have a form of chlamydia that they carry that causes pneumonia. And you basically have to uh, really know which animal that you've been exposed to in order to rule out potential bacterial infections. Like uh, there's a popular one that we use on medical boards related to rabbits and it's called tularemia. Missy, was that you? Was that you that got me keto rash? <laughs> Um, I mean, I do get scratches from Miss Yu when I'm playing with her. If you don't know, Miss Yu is my cat. Um, but I don't think that's her. Maybe? I don't know where she is now, but I'll ask next time when I see her. 4am, I'm woken up by more itchy. I itched it, 
and it got double itchy. She mentioned earlier that she has hives. That can be as a result of an allergic situation, but you could also have itchiness presenting at an early form of cellulitis, which is a superficial skin infection, which can be problematic because it could spread. You'll start seeing an area of redness that gets worse and worse. You could even get streaking, which is like redness spots or splotches higher up or in different areas spreading from that. That can become quite problematic because then it could seed either into your blood, into your joints, into your bone. That could become really scary because at that point you might need eye IV antibiotics. Oh, wow. Well, that's interesting. Let's keep watching. I felt like every time when he stopped, I would stop and comment the same thing or something like that. Maybe I'll try to skip the next one and see what happens. I went to the bathroom to see what was up and the area that was irritated before was even more red. And also getting any kind of cellulitis on your neck is obviously problematic because it's a very tight space, small space. So any swelling in this area can compromise your airway and spread to a lot of vital blood vessels that end up going into the brain. And the last thing you want is an infection in your brain. But the reason you don't want it is because if you form an abscess in your brain, which is basically a pocket of an infection where your body tries to wall off the infection into a little bubble, almost like a cyst, that can become problematic because if it starts spreading and becoming bigger inflamed, that can put pressure on some vital neurological structures there, essentially causing brain death if it's severe enough and in the wrong area. Next morning after a bad night's sleep, I got out of bed and whoop, it spread to my back. Yep, this is not good. Did I do anything about it? Nope. I was like, whoop, I sure hope this cures itself somehow. Don't think rashes will automatically cure themselves. If you have something going on that's spreading, that's worsening, that's a sign that you should contact a health professional. You know, it's funny because that's exactly why I was thinking about my keto rash was just, oh, well, you know, once it's out, it's gonna be gone. So it might just slowly fade away. If I didn't go to the doctor, I think my rash at this point will probably just, same thing with Jaden, that it will spread all over my body. But after like an hour of sweating from discomfort and getting nothing done, I decided, yeah, I should probably go to urgent care. Have you eaten anything new or that you're allergic to? No. Have you taken any medication that's new or you're allergic to? No. Have you been bitten by any bugs you might be allergic to? Th these are all great questions and we have to ask this. Remember, the most important part of a uh, medical exam is the history. Knowing what potentially could have happened, ruling out conditions, ruling in conditions, and then creating a list of differential diagnoses. What's most likely, what's least likely, putting the ones on the top that are most deadly so that you can rule them out and they can't cause any true harm right now. You know, it's funny because I do know that I was allergic to some kind of seafood or maybe nuts that could be one of the reason about keto rash but i did have spider bite i got bitten on my forehead before long time ago and it was not fun hmm looks like dermatitis <laughs> i promise doctors don't have a checklist in their really do you think doctor doesn't really have those i always feel like behind their boards they always like do, doing scribbles or uh doing check marks of all these symptoms Dr. Mike, are you lying? It's like crossing things off. That happens mentally. And by the way, dermatitis is kind of like a catch-all term that basically means inflammation of the skin. But you need to know why you're having dermatitis. I ran into my room and immediately took the medication and started hoping I would feel better soon. All I could do was lay on my bed and do nothing because every time I moved or touched something, it would send shocks of pain and irritation down my body. I also hope that the urgent care physician mentioned to her that if you have X happen to you, you should come back or you should go to the emergency room because patients need to feel empowered to know what to do in case something got worse. And here it sounds like it's getting worse, it's getting painful, she can't move. Those are all signs that this thing is not improved. So when I went to the doctor, um, I'm glad my symptom had improved, but yeah, my doctor did not tell me if I have problem, then go back. I told my friend, I'm in so much pain and discomfort, I can't think straight, and I've been sitting on the floor not being able to move for 30 minutes, what should I do? ER. Go to the hospital? You think so? Yes, go to the hospital. I don't know, maybe if I just wait a bit more, go to the hospital, okay. That's a good friend. <laughs> You know, so many people have been telling me that since I have rash, I should stop doing keto. I think I'm okay with being on keto. It has so much benefits that's really good to me. But I know at that moment, people are still telling me, stop doing keto. And even now, people are telling me, stop doing keto. If you have the keto rash, stop doing keto. I guess I just don't listen.
I arrived at the hospital, I was finally taken to a bed, given a shot along with a mystery pill, and about 40 minutes later, I felt better. It sounds like the medication that she was given was uh, oral steroids. And maybe the shot was like Toradol, which is an anti-inflammatory medication and pain reliever as well. The hives had been manageable the whole day until I was getting ready to go to bed and they started flaring up again, this time worse than ever. I thought I'd experienced pain before, but the hives were mocking me. The previous ones were teasers. This time they were dishing up the main course. Everything was put into mega gear, served up on the grill of Gordon Ramsay himself. My dad decided to take me to a local urgent care because they've got a family friend who works there. It was more familiar. The doctor walked in and was like, Yep, looks like hives, and stuck me with an EpiPen. In this case, I don't know how the urgent care doctor decided to use an EpiPen, where she didn't talk about anything of the airway swelling, didn't talk about uh, her blood pressure being really low, but if it was the case that her blood pressure was dropping, the hives were getting worse, potentially, yeah, that could have been an anaphylactic attack just presenting itself weird. Also, another symptom to look out for in anaphylaxis that a lot of people don't know is a feeling of like abdominal pain with nausea vomiting, because that can sometimes present itself in that way, plus upper airway swelling, so you have to really be attuned to listening for those symptoms. Whatever you just said, Dr. Mike, I have no idea what you're saying, but you know, that sounded really sexy. I'm just saying. Anyway, problem solved. The doctor didn't really say anything else. He kind of just gave me the EpiPen and sent me on my way. Actually, I'm not happy with this <laughs> treatment plan here. I'll explain why. If you give someone an EpiPen, you have to monitor them for an extended period of time, at least four hours or so, to make sure that their vital signs uh, are okay. Because you're giving someone artificial adrenaline, their heart can sometimes go into an arrhythmia as a result, so you have to monitor these patients. Also, another important reason is 20% of the first EpiPens fail after a few moments. You know, you give someone an EpiPen, they feel great, they they leave, and then like an hour later, two hours later, they have a d delayed reaction happening again. Also, I never prescribe one EpiPen, I always prescribe two, because what happens? You keep one at home, but you need one on the go. You need to keep one in your pocket, in your purse, in your backpack, whatever it is, because if you're out and you're allergic to like peanut dust and someone gives it to you, great that you have an EpiPen at home, that doesn't help you. My doctor did not prescribe me EpiPen, so... I don't know what that is really. It sounds pretty useful. Let's keep watching. I can have a nice Christmas after all with my family and live on in peace. 8 a.m. Woke up. Hives all over. <laughs> this time, I wanted to just close my eyes again and perish. Surprise, surprise. I didn't even know it was possible to experience this level of itchy combined with unbearable pain. The itchiness was so extreme, it felt like needles all over. Every time something just grazed my skin, it felt like, yep, this is, it's time to die. You have a lot of nerves on your cutaneous level, meaning on your skin, because that's how you interact with the world. It's a sense of touch. So anytime those nerves are inflamed, it's really painful. And you have basically hyperesthesia, where like everything you touch, anything that bumps you hurts so much more than usual. I had that experience, not with the keto rash, but with my back being, having a, not, I, I would say severe sunburn because it was just so itchy and also so painful to me. I felt exactly what she was saying. Anything that touches me just gave me a huge discomfort. Arrived at urgent care, couldn't move, looked like a boiled diseased shrimp. First of all, I got another EpiPen. Yay! And then he prescribed me like four new medications, none of which I remember the names of but one of them was steroids. She didn't get steroids before? What kind of help was she getting? Ridiculous. And interestingly enough, we also give sometimes medications that are H2 blockers that we normally give for stomach acid. Those work in like a, a histamine related way that also decreases allergic reaction. How come steroids considered as a very bad drug? And uh, people will actually get prescriptions of them. Um, I don't know what steroids really do. So hey, sometimes it's a good thing, right? I don't know, I'm not a doctor. The only thing we could conclude was it was just caused by a huge buildup of stress. I'd been really busy and burnt out from a bunch of conventions and traveling up until that point, so they said, 
Yeah, stress combined with an immune system glitch is probably what caused it. Essentially what we're saying that was idiopathic hives, which is what I mentioned earlier that I had. Idiopathic means we have no idea. It almost sounds funny because it almost says like idiot doctor, but the reality is that these things happen because we're exposed to so many little chemicals and uh, nutrients in our everyday lives, whether it's in the food that we eat, the, the skincare products we use. Stress absolutely com makes it worse and is a factor here, but it's not the definitive thing because if we're all stressed, we will all just start breaking out in massive hives. And if it does happen again, that's how we can start figuring out why it's happening to see what patterns emerge from those types of situations. That's interesting about hives um, of, because of stress and everything. Let's think back about my keto rash when it first started. Was I really stressed? I don't think so. I don't know. I mean, that was a year ago, so. But thank you, Dr. Mike, for making this reaction video of Jaden Animation. And uh, idiopathic hives, I think that's why I will be start using them instead of really keto rash. That almost felt like someone's being an idiot to having that kind of rashes. But. On that note, please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can see me to do more of these reaction videos and uploads of all this randomness. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye!